everyone, this is Ben Thompson here, making this video from Berkeley, California, in my living room. I'm working from home today, and I just completed day one of the Powell and Margaret Jastrobov five-day course for tinnitus retraining therapy, management of tinnitus, decreased sound tolerance, hyperacusis, and misophonia course. It's five full days, and we're doing it on Zoom video. Just completed day one, and I wanted to make this video to share some reflections that I had. Uh, my intentions for coming into the group were that over the past few years, I've devoted a lot of care and attention into the research of tinnitus. And then a few months ago, I was listening to um, All Things Audiology, a show by some fellow colleagues, and they had Dr. Paul Jastrobov, the founder of Tinnitus Retraining Therapy, on the show. And I was, in, I was very excited to see that he was making guest appearances, and he was explaining Tinnitus Retraining Therapy, and he invited uh, anyone to join for the upcoming course, which I'm just finishing day one of. So my reflections uh, so far are that I believe this course and this material is some of the most dense and real and scientific tinnitus management information out there. The Jastrobofs have been practicing this for decades, I believe, uh, 30 to 40 years of actively pursuing tinnitus treatment with the most up-to-date research as possible. So on day one, uh, first of all, here's the book. This is the book that we're using. Uh, I, really, I really like to have a physical book that I can touch and go through and write. So I'm definitely taking notes here about what content can I make, uh, what videos can I make, what blog articles can I write based on some of this foundational knowledge. Uh, today we covered tinnitus and decreased sound tolerance, the mechanisms of tinnitus, the medical evaluation of tinnitus, sound therapies for tinnitus, psychological treatments and supplemental therapies, um, different kinds of herbal supplements and drugs, and hyperacusis and misophonia. Overall, most of it was, uh, was known to me. I had at least been aware of most of the material but it was a deeper dive into these concepts and the scientific background to support them. Uh, so personally, I've devoted you know, most of my life in the past year to pure tinnitus and creating reliable scientific information for those who need help with tinnitus or similar hearing conditions. And I'm very grateful and, and happy to say that I'm glad I'm in this five-day course. I feel like it's going to level up my knowledge and ultimately that means the people I work with, that means anyone who is uh, getting information from Pure Tinnitus, whether website, blog articles, or YouTube channel videos, will have better information that's more reliable, that is more scientific, that is based on studies, based on clinical trials, based on studies, based on methods that have shown the test of time. One of my big takeaways today was learning about the placebo effect on tinnitus and how sometimes the placebo effect can be up to 40 percent and the placebo effect can last uh, a few months so the jastrobofs were recommending when really analyzing a treatment effectiveness to look past the first few months and to see what's the effectiveness rate at six months at one year because that's the kind of long-term improvement that i want my patients to have um, and unfortunately, the mind and the placebo effect can uh, give us the sense that we are better, but after a few months, the mind realizes the body, the physiology is not catching up to what the mind wants to happen with the placebo, so then it can uh, go back to baseline levels. That was one of my main takeaways from today. The second was that um, learning about benzodiazepines and their potential harm for someone with tinnitus and the brain plasticity and how that can be affected by these types of drugs. So drugs like, uh, I believe, Xanax, Valium are examples of benzodiazepines and learning about how to communicate that with my patients and how to potentially educate uh, physicians and 
um, pharmacists about the adverse effects on tinnitus and the brain changes that can come with it. So now I have these additional tools in my tool belt and honestly one of the best manuals and concentration of knowledge that I could ever ask for. So day one, it's gone great. And I'm going to make this video after all five days of the five day course with Powell and Margaret Jastroboff that I'm doing on Zoom video. And of course, uh, a lot of people will benefit from this as I feel like I'm in a unique position where I'm able to write articles and make videos to educate and hopefully help people with tinnitus. Thank you for watching this. Feel free to leave a comment and like this video. Thank you.